Hello guys, welcome back. Today I want us to cover FTP and TFTP servers. Uh, after we do a differentiation on them, now we'll do a configuration and see how they operate. So this is our top, uh, topology and uh, this is our, our, our short notes on the FTP and TFTP servers. So FTP is file transfer protocol uh, FTP is a standard network protocol used for transferring files between a client and a server over TCP IP based network uh, and on, on other hand we have TFTP travel file transfer protocol TFTP is a simpler version of FTP designed for lightweight uh, file transfer operations so in other words we have ftp and we have a a, a simpler version or a minor version of a ftp which is known as tftp which normally used to transfer lightweight files and uh, ftp transfer large files we see later as we continue uh, point number two ftp uses port 21 for the control connection and port 20 for the data uh, connection TFTP uses UDP port 69 for both uh, control and data transfer. So as you can see, we for the FTP we have port 21 and 20, but uh, TFTP we have UDP. So we have reliability of packets from one uh, point to another. But for TFTP, we don't have a reliability. Uh, what we have is a speed. We consider speed of uh, data but not uh, efficiency of data. So, point number three, we have uh, FTP supports authentication mechanisms such as username and password authentication and SSL TSL encryption for secure data transmission. So, FTP normally consider security as the main source of communication and TFTP typically does not support authentication making it less secure than FTP. TFTP transfers are often done in plain text without encryption. So when you, you want to access FTP server, there must be authentication mechanism. You have to enter username and password. But for the TFTP, there's no that such security. You, just, you can just access without any authentication. And there's no encryption. That's why we have plain text data. So another point, FTP supports large file transfers because it can handle files of any size limited only by available disk space and network bandwidth. For TFTP has inherent limitations on file size due to its simplicity. TFTP is primarily used for transferring small files such as configuration file or firmware images so the main difference here also we have amount of data transfer for, for FTP normally transfer very large files depending on your size of the of a disk and the bandwidth but for FTP the main issue is the size is the file size it's normally operates on a very small sizes like configurations We'll see this later when we do configuration. Okay, and the last one, FTP commonly used for transferring files between computers, servers, and network attached storage, NAS devices. It is widely supported by operating systems and network devices. On other hand, we have FTP commonly used in scenario where lightweight <coughs> file transfer is required, such as bootstrapping devices, e.g. routers and switches during the boot processes. Transferring configuration files to the network devices or updating firmware on indented devices. So, for uh, FTP, we normally have client-server connection. Normally, we have for the client computer and we have a server, they do the connection. We transfer files, we update files, we delete files. But uh, for FTP, they normally 
do save uh, small uh, files like um, router configurations, switch configurations. So sometimes instead of uh, saving all your configuration on a switch, on a router or a switch, you can save them on, on an external device like FTP server. So this is how different they are on how they operate, on the size, on the connection. So now, after differentiating these uh, FTP and TFTP servers, let's go to configuration and see how they operate. Now that we have uh, explained the difference between FTP and TFTP servers, let's go to configuration and see how they operate. So this is our topology. We have router, router one, FTP, TFTP server. We have PC1, PC2, and this is the IP interfaces IP and uh, server IP. So we can check on our router. Show IP, show IP interface brief. Now the app interface G0 slash 0 slash 0 is up with the IP 192.168.1.1 and G0 slash 0 slash 1 is up with 192.168.2.1. So we, we are good. Let's go check on our, okay. We have IP. 192.168.2.10 for PC1 and for PC2 we have .2.11 let's check our server we have 192.168.1.10 so this is the one 192.168.1.0 this is the network of the server and we have this network over PC1 and PC2 it's 192.168.2.0 this is the network so we have two different networks so now let's do, well, let's start with the FTP server and how, and see how it, how it operates. Let's, let's come here to our server. We have services. All these are server services, but we want now, we want to do, to handle FTP server. We come here. It's on. So we have, uh, we have learned, we have learned that uh, to access FTP server, we must have authentication, username and password, and the packet normally, or the data normally is encrypted. So to set FTP first, we must set the password, LAN, password LAN, I, I, sorry, our username is LAN, and our password is LAN1. So what can we do with uh, this credential, this uh, authentication? We can write, read, delete, rename, and list our our data. So we add this authentication username and password. And these are files on a directory. So our first assignment is uh, we want to add, we want to upload file from PC one. We have to uh, want to upload file to FTP server. So let's go to our PC. Before I do that, let me ping server ping 192.168.1.10. Yes, I can I can access the server. So let's come here. I want to upload a, a file. Now I want to upload a file in form of TX text. I come here. I write the uh, learn for tech training we write hello learn for tech training members so let me cancel, let me now save the name of this file will be, I can save like, the name of file I can name it tech4.txt. I can save. Now I have a file on this PC. What I, what I want with the file, I want to upload it to the server. Come here, command prompt. 
Okay, let me FTP one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot ten. Username is LAN and password is LAN one. So I'm on FTP server. Now what I want before I upload the file, let me go to directory. Just type D I do I R. Now these are files in the directory. As you can see here, we don't have uh, our file land4.txt. We don't have here. So uh, now let's upload our file. Put our file name is check for dot txt enter so writing file check for to this server file transfer in progress transfer complete this is the bed okay now let's go to directory and see if we have uh, this file dear now check as you can see here we have this file now we have uploaded this file from the client or from pc1 you have uploaded to the server we can also come here to the server ftp and you can see our file here before we didn't have this file but after upload we have this file here now what i want is a uh, i want to to download the file from pc2 let me go to the server ftp IP address one eight two dot one sixty eight dot one dot ten username lan password lan one okay on the FTP server let me check the files we have this our file here check for dot txt so I want to upload I want to download it to our we can check here we don't have the file yet we can check here text <laughs> open we only have sample file.txt so i want to upload the check check for the txt here what, so i want to download check uh, for the txt you'll see here uh, you see it here after we download so now let's go to our command prompt you have seen the file on the server so to upload it this uh, is the command get Check for get the file take for dot txt. Okay, transfer in progress transfer complete. We can now we can now go to we can now go to our computer and check txt and check the file open. Now we have this file. We have downloaded it to our PC two. Now this is how we use F uh, FTP server. We can upload, we can download, we can delete, we can rename the file uh, with TFTP server capability. Now let's go to TFTP and see what we can do with it. So uh, the main function of TFTP is to store small or lightweight um, image. Uh, files like configuration switch configuration router configuration so we want to save our configurations we have this uh, interfaces ip we have changed the name of router uh, our host name is r1 so enter enable config t we can do also we can do another configuration like uh, no ip jo, jo, domain lookup so we want to save our configuration to tftp server uh for the configurations we have enable password and our router host name is r1 also we have let me do show run we have, we have host name we have enable password uh, of configuration of no ip domain lookup 
we have these IP addresses uh, for interfaces uh, G00, G001. Those are configurations. Okay, we have LAN console password. So we want to save this configuration to FTP server. Now let's go to FTP server. This is a directory uh, and this is the file in the directory. So we want to save our file and we, after we save our file, we will see it here. And uh, we also, after saving, we will know how we will retrieve it. So first, let's save. As we have said earlier that uh, FTP doesn't uh, support en uh, encryption or authentication. That's why you don't, we, there's no need for us to set password here. So now let's go to our, our router and uh, TFTP uh, saves uh, small uh, size uh, files like configurations. That's why we want to save our router's configurations to FTP server. So let's go. This command copy the running configuration, the running configuration, the this configuration, copy to FTP to TFTP enter so the address name the address is 182.168.1.10 so destination file what's the name of our file our file we want to call it the backup backup config config is a file backup config so waiting writing config okay it's okay this uh, the config the backup config has been copied so now let's go to our server tftp now we can see this file here it has been saved this is our backup configuration so in case we lose uh, the configuration of our router we will know that we have our uh, backup on TFTP server. So let me erase everything here on the router and see if I can uh, retrieve or our pass our, our configuration. So to set to erase the configuration, this is the pass this is the command erase startup configuration. The file the erasing the NVRAM file will move all the configuration. Yes. Now let's reload. System configuration has been modified. You want to save? No. Confirm. Let's wait. Do you like to enter the initial configuration? No. So, uh, as you can see, we are, we are back. First, uh, the our host name was R1. Now it has changed back to the router. And uh, as you can see, our interfaces are down. Let's do enable. I can enable without any password. Show IP int brief. The interfaces are empty. We don't have IP addresses. They are all down. So basically, all our configurations have disappeared. So let's now retrieve our configurations to retrieve our configuration this is the command copy copy tftp you want to copy tftp to the running configuration the remote at the address of the server 192.168.1.10 Source uh, file name, our uh, file name was backup uh, configuration, backup config, and the destination file name running config. So uh, accessing TFTP server, this server IP, and this is our file, and uh, Let's wait for the retrieval or of the configurations. Accessing FTP server. 
uh, term out, everything term out, yes, term, yeah, it's term out because this interface is down. We don't have access to the server through here. So before we retrieve everything, let, let's configure this interface here first. Config T interface G0 slash 0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0 no shut so we want to access this server so this interface must be up so now let's do the uh, re retrieval copy FTP running configuration the host name 192.168.1.10 the address name the source backup config and the destination is running uh, config now let's let's wait now it's okay uh, we have retrieved the, this the, the file. This is the size of the file uh, config, uh, configured from console. Okay. Now, before the host name was router, but after retrieval of our uh, backup uh, configuration, now our host name is R1 as before. Let's go. Let's exit and see something. I check enable. Now we have to enter password. Motosh, config terminal, before config terminal, show IP int brief, these are, uh, we have now the IP addresses, uh, config terminal, let's uh, bring it up, G0 interface, G001, no shut it's up now show show run configuration okay now we have everything uh, back r1 the the enable passwords uh, domain or domain lookup uh, ip addresses this one i did it but this one has been recovered now this is uh, how ftp and ftp server works uh, FTP works with a remote, uh, okay, FTP client and FTP server. We must have a, a authentication, username and password to access FTP. We can upload, we can download, we can delete, rename the files. And uh, for TFTP, for TFTP, normally we save config small files like configurations and there's no need for any authentication. That's why we, we just accessed there. We, we saved our backup without any username and password. We have retrieved our backup without any username and password. So this is how different they are, FTP and TFTP server. TFTP uses TCP, uh, TFTP uses UDP. So thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed our video. Please, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.